welcome to uh, As If, an art podcast with me, Lisa Hirel. And today, we're also with Cecilia. It's so me. I'm going to leave her Instagram in the description. But today, we're going to be talking about Nana. And the reason why we're talking about Nana together is because both of us like Nana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to talk shit about it. And um, there's also a bunch of questions that I gathered from the um, the last YouTube video that I've done and uh, the post that I made about Nana. So we're gonna have your questions as well to talk about. So we're probably gonna have to start with questions and then go off. Yeah, that's into, yeah, so Because I feel like it's gonna be easier. I think so too. Wait, let me do the jingle for the for shows. Because I do not have a jingle for manga because I don't read manga enough to have a jingle for it. Fair enough. Will I be nervous if I'm chosen to be on the show? <laughs> no. Why should I be? I am extremely comfortable being on national television. That's, that's Heather from um, Total Drama. Yeah, that's just me. I'm super comfortable. <laughs> I'm a natural. <laughs> a natural. <laughs> okay, so let's start with Takumi because I want to talk shit about him. And um, <sighs> there was this... Not big fan here. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, so they there's like a discussion that happened under that comment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> By the way, if you haven't watched Nana or haven't read the manga, or whatever, I think you this should, could By yeah, the way. yeah. But I think this could still be fun for you. Yeah. Just because we're gonna be talking shit about a bunch of things, and you might still enjoy it. But applies to real life. Yeah. But basically, there's gonna be spoilers. Just letting you know because obviously, like we're gonna be talking about way too much uh, stuff explicitly. Mm -hmm. So, okay, my hot take is that Takumi isn't that bad and I feel bad for him. His backstory is really touching and I hoped we had the rest of the story uh, because I'm pretty sure Ayazawa, Ayazawa meant to develop him more. So then there was a couple of, a few comments under it, yeah. which one of the one of the commenters said, um, I don't hate Takumi, I just wish he wouldn't treat our Hachi, or that he would treat Hachi better and leave the other alone if she has such a problem she needs to get help she can't always depend on takumi and takumi can't always spoil her i don't agree that he spoils her he definitely he does doesn't not. um or if he does it's more like a like abusive way of it's like that. it's like he basically well we're gonna talk about oh, no. about him so another comment says i mean yeah his backstory is sad and if this story continued he would have probably gotten more development but he's still Hachi, mm -hmm. like how can anyone think he isn't that bad? So the the person who wrote the first comment, being like, "Oh, my hot take is that Takumi isn't that bad," responded, "God, I forgot about that." <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> like, then. And then she goes, "Yeah, he's like he's trash. Oh no, my old view of this character growth is destroyed. I felt so invested once he slept with Ray Ray and destroyed the only thing that he wanted to cherish. How could I forget?" And then another person, a new person, chimed in and said he raped Hachi twice and is yeah. a narcissistic manipulator. Exactly. Even if he has a tragic backstory, it doesn't mean his trash behaviors are acceptable. I'm not necessarily replying to you, but to other people who might not condemn the, his actions because of his past. Mm -hmm. So, also, yeah. He's not the only one with like a really bad past and like, you know. All of them are. Exactly. And like, they're not all trash people. Like, they they kind of say things like, um, well, he has like such a sad backstory. He's like, uh, what, his dad was an alcoholic, I think? Yeah. Or something like that. And it's like, okay, all of them are well, orphans. Well, Nana got abandoned twice. She doesn't have a dad. Her mom left. Then... They're Ren's all orphans. Parent, yeah, was no, an orphan. No, they're just literally... They, Yasu they met in the orphanage. is an orphan, isn't he? Yeah, th exactly. th that's what I'm saying. They're all orphans. Yeah. Literally all, every single one trash. of them. Like why we're supposed to be feeling bad for Takumi. I, yeah, I, I really do don't. I do understand what she's saying though in terms of um having this like changed opinion or whatever on him because she forgot about <laughs> what yeah. happened previously. Because to be honest, there's way too much happening in this manga in a really short amount of time. I don't remember everything. Yeah. Uh -uh. Um it's um because the thing is so so um Ren dies on Nana's birthday. Yeah. And it was her 21st birthday. That's when it like clicked to me that all of that Only? shit happened in one year. <laughs> From the moment Hachi and her met yeah. to the moment where Ren dies. It's been only one year. 
Yeah, it feels like way more because there's so much. Yeah. And what did they got get back together like two months after she moved in or、yeah. with Hachi or something like that? So then, like, it feels like Ren and her were together for like at least two years again, but turns out it wasn't even a year. Yeah. Damn. Th- yeah, it feels like way more. Doesn't it change your perspective? On yeah, it's like time is not a thing. I think in that. No.、Manga. <laughs> No, it, it isn't. I, <laughs> I genuinely like... don't understand anything. <laughs> Same with like, like Takumi, for example. Like their whole thing of like him constantly leaving and whatever, and how Hachi's acting and how like they're already acting like such a like、yeah. like um she's a housewife and he's like a working man or whatever. And it's so weird because it's like, if you really think about it, they've been together for only like two or three months. It's true. After like, after the baby, they got like, together if, with like, the baby, yeah. No, I think I think I think they let, let's just forget about the timeline because there's absolutely no way that all it, of that stuff it happens. It fucks everything up. Yeah, let's be real. It does. It's genuinely like one of those things where like I I wasn't thinking about it. I genuinely thought that it was at least two years. At、so、least it just clicked at, for me because I forgot. At the it, very it, least, two years. It makes no sense. And then at the very end, when they said that, I even I was even like, oh, it's it's not his birthday. Probably like twenty third birthday. Like probably like it's been. And like they're not acting、years? like twenty something years old people. Like <clears throat> Yasu acts like a like. How do you get a degree or like whatever he gets, as his age? Like he, he's older. But like he's the same age as Ren and Takumi, and I think that Ren and Takumi are, are older, because、but. I know that、um, at the beginning of the story when Nana is twenty, I think he's twenty four. Okay, then okay. So he、okay. has yeah. So he has a degree, but he was still like an apprentice. Yeah, yeah. Like, he wasn't like a practicing lawyer yet when he dropped it. He's just so grown up. Like yes, who? I love him. <laughs> <laughs> He's my man. <laughs> I love him so much. Honestly, the best character ever. I even I, a few days ago, I had a dream where. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> that, that's how much I love that character. Oh my goodness! The only man that's like not annoying in the、yeah. entirety of the manga. Like even Nobu. Like a lot of people love Nobu, and I do too. I loved him、Don't、until. Don't touch Nobu. Okay, but、He's、but you gotta tell me. You gotta agree that in that moment when、um, him and Hachi, when when Hachi is staying. I think his flaws is like he falls. In love with the Hachi, which is the only thing that really bothers me. Yeah, but the、me. way that he approaches it is also like messed up. It is. Like, like when he's with her and they just like share the hug, and then he goes in for a kiss、mm-hmm. without thinking about the fact that he has a girlfriend and she's married. Yeah. And then he gets offended, like, to the point where he, like, when when she pulls away, he's like, instead of kissing him、yeah. back, he's like, "How dare you do this? Why would you even walk into the same room with me?" Why would、yeah. you follow me into this room、Wait. if you didn't want anything to happen? And it's like,、yeah. what? I can't be in the same room with you without like expecting you ex- to 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 sleep with you. That's so weird. Yeah. No, totally. I agree. But I was I was、yeah. like Nobu. Ew. Yeah, there's a point. You were perfect up until this point, and then you said something so dumb. Yeah. Yeah. I just. I was like, girl. Yasuo must have a weakness. We just don't. <laughs> yes, he must have a weakness. He must. I'm sorry, but um, well, he, let's he's think. Let's think. Yeah. There's a couple of things that I think like make him different from the the rest in terms of、um, the way that they approach relationships, especially、yeah. like in the beginning where when Ren decides to go to Tokyo,、mm-hmm. he was talking to Nobu、um, on the shore, and like and Nobu is like. What is Ren gonna do? Is he taking Nana?、Uh, like, is, oh, what he, what is he gonna do with Nana? Is he taking her with him or whatever? Like, like what is、object? she gonna do? Is、yeah. it she's an object or like、mm-hmm. a like a lost puppy or something like that? And、um, and Yasuo was like, she's a like she's a grown her own person. Yeah, she's gonna make her own decision whether she wants to follow、oh, hell、yeah. or or doesn't.、Yeah. And he's the only one who talks about everyone that way in、yeah. the entirety of the manga.、It's、everyone、true. else is like, I I must possess them. I know they must be mine. Well, especially Nana. <laughs> Especially Nana. Fuck, honestly, <laughs> I love Nana, but I also, I also, I do think that she's a bit of. A, she's very selfish, the same way as Hachi、oh, is. Yeah. They're just like different types of selfish. Well, she's like selfish, possessive, and then Hachi is like the opposite. She's like selfish that doesn't think. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. think about anything. She, her、naive. decisions are very like. I don't. I can't even call her naive sometimes because no, no. Well, it's like,、yeah. like.、Uh, do, <laughs> I can't even、no. talk 
when I speak about her, I don't get her. I don't. She just makes decisions based on nothing. She just doesn't think twice. She just... And I think, like, the people around her are never, like... She just, like, Junko, she just listens to her, but, like, I don't think she gives the best advice. Me too, yeah. right? Because at first, when, when um, I started watching it, I was like, oh, probably Junko's gonna be my favorite character. Mm -hmm. But then, the mm -hmm. more she spoke, the twice. more I realized... She, like, twice, the first time when she's in a relationship with... Oh, what's his name? The guy at the beginning, Shoji. Shoji? Yeah, Shoji. Yeah. Like, she just, like, stays out of it, even though the guy's clearly cheating on her. Fuck. Doesn't get involved, right? doesn't take sides. Right, because they knew before, right? Yeah. Her and Kirsten yeah. knew before yeah. they... And they oh, did nothing. they didn't say anything. Yeah. And then she, like, acts like she's the hero. I forgot hero. about that. Yeah, I hate that. And the second time when Hachiko is pregnant and she goes to them at night, like, she just basically tells her to go with Takumi because money, getting married, security, all that stuff, like, even though he's freaking great. Mm. So. But I think that Hachi didn't tell them that in this way because if, uh, I have an issue with the way that this manga and this anime yeah. treat rape. Yeah. It's definitely seen as like a joke. There's multiple mm -hmm. times where it's like kind of treated with this really blasé kind of attitude. Yeah. Um, there's one moment where after Takumi mm -hmm. literally rapes her and like she's genuinely like scared of him yeah. when um I think it was like at some at the event for like the engagement or for the release of something like the albums or some yeah. shit do you remember when um she was with nana and like she came to this party and he was unhappy about it and then he got super angry and then got just, her into the yeah, room yeah, yeah, yeah. and, yeah. and the, the, yeah. the way that it was described was like that she was really really scared and that's why yeah. she like let him do whatever because Ugh. she was really scared of him so like he's literally sugars. like made her feel super scared and then fucking yeah her and after that she's like sitting there at, at like the um at the mirror like fixing her makeup or whatever before going to yeah. nana and he's like like laying down there and he's like oh he's supposed to saying something like you're so good that i could write like a song about this or whatever and it's like and, and the way that she res re like responded in her mind was like oh like um like oh he's this asshole like i should i should sue him for this but it's like kind of like treated it as like the way that she's drawn is like cheapy style yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like cute or whatever yeah. at first i was like oh so she understands what happened because sometimes she acts like like she doesn't yeah. tell anyone i feel like she doesn't tell anyone or like she doesn't treat it as a serious thing and i like i start thinking about it and i'm like well does she even know what the, 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 the yeah there's like not issues normal? with like even relationships sexual relationship and stuff in general because even like so hachi doesn't take the pill and then nana taking the pill is like a feminist thing according to ren ren is pissed so, about it oh my god yeah. another thing about ren oh my god i will, <laughs> I will go off on this like continue continue yeah. continue <laughs> so they just yeah. i don't they don't treat that subject really like as a serious thing, which is I like, feel like I feel like it's very fluctuating. Like yeah. there's a moment where they show both Nana's going to the gynecologist yeah. and asking questions, and one of them is like, "You shouldn't be smoking while at the same time taking this pill because it raises your chances of getting yeah. a blood clot." And then he asks Yasu because he didn't realize that Yasu wasn't her boyfriend. He's like, "Maybe you should take the contraceptive one yeah, yeah, yeah. yourself," yeah. which I thought was like a really cool moment to show yeah. that like a doctor is like yeah. suggesting this instead of being like, "It's on you, it's on you," you know? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Does also, Yasu like... would take care of it. Well, obviously. <laughs> He's <Like>. perfect. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so um, that's the thing about Ren and the whole baby thing. Um, him and Nana are exactly... The, they're very similar to Takumi too, in terms of like being possessive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, to do an extreme. Like... But also, I don't, I don't get what the point is, because it's like... It's kind of sometimes like I can rationalize it to myself being like well They just want to like kind of have that one person who would always choose them over mm -hmm. anybody else being very selfish being very like obsessed with it but then It's so it's just such a weird thing because She hasn't seen him for two years, mm -hmm. right? And then they get back together and Then they don't talk to each other yeah. They don't, it doesn't seem like they're actually enjoying each other's company as much as they just really enjoy each other physically. Well, yeah, because every time she goes to see him when she's in distress or like he called her and she's like, oh no, I don't want to, you know, get back together. But then auto like right away, it's like, you know, they and have it's always, to And it's always sex. Yeah, it is. It's always like they, they cannot be in the same room without 
to being be naked. Yeah. Either sex or being in a bathtub. Yeah. That ends up into another. And like before, when they were in the bathtub, they were at least talking more. Yeah. Because as soon as they got back together, after their first night when they were they, the when they slept together and they were still in the bath and yeah. whatever, after that, they don't talk like this to each other anymore. Yeah, there's no conversations ever. Like, yeah. There was one moment where Ren was like um, telling her... Which I thought was like a really interesting point of like conflict where he goes, if I were to draw being a musician, would that make you, would, would that satisfy you? If Yasu were only doting after you, would that mm-hmm. satisfy you? If Hachi was only yours, would that satisfy you? Kind of asking the question okay. of like, when are you going to be satisfied? Because yeah. you only, you want everyone to just belong to you and just revolve around you and not have their own lives but he does the same thing yeah that's what's like that's what's kind of like making me feel so weird about him is because like i kind of like him but i kind of dislike him at the same time i mean i have the same relationship in terms of like disliking and liking characters for most of them really like nana i i really i because i understand her i understand Mm. her being offended by his behavior i understand um her not wanting to have children i understand her having ambitions i understand her seeing that she really wants to be with ren but he wants kids and he wants her to be something that she will never be while at the same time he's only in love with her because she's not that Mm -hmm. like he doesn't even he he can't even decide on his own to tell her not to be this because he knows he's not it's not gonna be her anymore he's not gonna love her like it's so stupid yeah but the thing with with kids in the first episode where we see them together before he leaves for Tokyo when he tells her, he literally, in, in bed, he like tells her, because she took, a, again, she yeah, took a pill. B- birth yeah. control pill, and he's like, why are you taking this? And it's like, okay, and she's like, it's because you're not wearing condoms, that's why. Like, yeah. obviously, I'm going to be taking birth control. And he's like, well, like, it wouldn't be a big deal if we had a baby. And she's like, no, it would be. <laughs> and he's like, like I have money. money. Yeah, but he said that he worked his whole, like, um, middle school, high school, um, in construction and stuff yeah. like that. He wasn't at school, so yeah. he saved up a lot of money. And he's like, we could have like a couple of kids, and it wouldn't be a problem. But that's the thing that he's again. Yeah. He would stay with her only if she decides to also give up all of her dreams and and become a mother. Not just them together. Not just the two of them. Like he. So wants what's his kids. dream? Cause like, is it like? dreaming on having a family and being a dad or is, does he want to be a musician i i don't know I, I feel like both of them have this mentality that you can't have both yeah it's which is weird. strange because yeah. if you're both on the same team yeah. it will be fine yeah i feel like nana might not want children at all yeah. which is totally cool it's yeah. totally fine i also don't want any kids but at the same time i feel like this the way that ren wants her to get pregnant accidentally mm-hmm. and not control it yeah, yeah. is the same thing as like her being obsessive over him um leaving music or the band and also her putting this chain around yeah, him the, this lock yeah. around him yeah like this is a little bit less extreme than fucking baby yeah but at the same time they are both trying to bound it themselves to each other in yeah. like really twisted ways i mean clearly inspired by seed and nc so like <laughs> those two were fucked know? up yeah those two i looked them up and everything and sid and nancy nancy was like a terrible person yeah. like she was doing like a lot of bad shit to people around her and everyone like hated being around them yeah and um, like they weren't just like hedonistic people who were really sad and they were like drowning their sadness in like alcohol and, yeah. and drugs or something. No, no. They, just, yeah. they were they were bad people too. Yeah, not good inspirations. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I don't know. <sighs> All right, should we take another we, question? We strayed away from Takumi a lot, but I think that I understand why she was talking about that because sometimes Takumi is framed in a very human way like yeah he takes care of the whole trapness band he always takes care of Raira 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 Raira. Raira. yeah 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 (laughs) um yeah he's like basically in charge of everything he doesn't really date except when he founds Hachi for some reason like like he wants to possess her too yeah and that's also weird like he's yeah because why her specifically to, I, I generally think it's just to piss off Nana and the other band. Like, yeah, like, he I doesn't feel like have it any, too. Like, because you say he doesn't love her. He, like, every time she's with Nobu, he gets upset. 
like, yeah, even the way he talks to Nana about Hachi and all that stuff when they have that conversation after she gets pregnant, like, he's just doing all of that. It just looks like he's doing it on purpose to, like, mess up with Nana's relationships. Mm. I don't know. He just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I honestly don't get him. No. It's so fucking weird. He likes being needed, but in a, like, twisted way. Yeah. Okay, so there's another hot take. Mm -hmm. Hachi is way too hated in the community, Mm -hmm. and I think part of it deals with internalized misogyny. Slut shaming, hating overly feminine characters, and expecting a young woman to be too mature for her age. While Nana gets almost no negative feedback while she did some pretty fucked up things, like Shin in the... like with Shin in the manga, Mm -hmm. for instance. Um, Don't get me wrong, I literally love every single character from this work to death, except Takumi, who I hate to death. (laughs) Yes! (laughs) Takumi hates to death! (laughs) Um, But I just think that some characters receive some unfair amount of criticism, while others don't receive anything but praise, whereas we know no one in this masterpiece is perfect. Except Except for for Yasu! By the way, I hope you're doing better, Lisa. Ah, okay, that's that part. I already answered that. She is. <laughs> yes, I am doing better. I agree. I mean, I what, the thing that I have noticed a lot about Nana is that when you ask people their opinions, they always say Hachi is such like a like a bad person. They like she's not a slut shaper yeah. and stuff. I I call her messy. Yeah, she's very messy because she doesn't think enough. I think that she's just like I don't I think she's tip like yeah. You can't. Yeah, you can't expect for her to be mature or any of them. Then when you, you remember, they're only 20 and 21. Even though I we mean, tend yeah. to forget about it. But, like, to an extent, the way she, like, behaves is not... Even if she's not mature, like, it's kind of messed up, though. Sometimes. That's the thing. She causes a lot of, like, damage around her. Hachi does get more hate than, than Nana does, for yeah, sure. Yeah, which is... And both of them just are very selfish and similar, like we said earlier, but... Yeah, but like in different ways. Like Nana yeah. is more um, self-aware about what she's doing, which would which kind of makes her a little bit more sinister. Anna would than use Hachi. her past kind of like an, an excuse whether yeah. Hachi comes from like a really what seems like a really nice family. Like her mother yeah was there. Her dad's. Yeah, we don't really know that much about her, even though she had like a few like weird situation with that like older dude. Oh yeah, yeah. like the married man. But that like, was weird. Yeah, that was like just. It's like sad. they had to find some he think something for her to like explain why she's gonna let herself like be abused by Takumi. I don't know. Like that was kind of weird. You know, based on like what her father said, whenever like they were around, yeah, um, you could definitely tell that she grew up in a very misogynistic no, for family, sure. yeah, like heavily misogynistic yeah. family, and um, a family that kind of like very traditional, very I guess. traditional, yeah. yeah, and they were definitely putting these ideas into her mind that. She's really like she needs to clean and cook for every, like, for a which man. Which she and, does. Like, like, which she does. Yeah. I guess be- that's because that's the reason why she doesn't really have any ambitions or anything like that either. Because mm-hmm. um, she works hard like every time like she always finds a job when she does her like supermarket like demos and stuff. She's like she 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 shows up. She does it well. Like she, mm-hmm. you, yeah, she always tries. Yeah. But that's like that's the thing. I feel yeah. like with Hachi, it's frustrating to see her making these mistakes because they are the ones that make the most like change yeah. happen. I feel like a lot of things that Nana does is to keep things the same. Yeah. That's why the audience gets more angry at Hachi because Hachi is kind of fucking up the dynamics in the group. Like yeah. you stop seeing characters because yeah. she stops seeing them yeah. and stuff like that. Very self-centered. And Nana is self-centered herself as well. Like, of course she is. The thing is, with Hachi, I feel like it's more frustrating to watch sometimes, at least for me, Mm. just because she oftentimes... (laughs) She oftentimes doesn't think. Yeah. Like, that's what it looks like. She's very impulsive. She says things like, I love Nobu and... Like that's the and only starts person crying around. automatically for yeah. everything. Yeah, for everything, and then all of a sudden she's like, "Actually, I love Takumi." I know. And then she says immediately, like, and the thing is, when you start realizing the timeline, yeah, 
you realize that she said that she loves Takumi like wildly, and then she says a day that she after hates she's him. in love with Nobu, yeah, like literally a day after, yeah. or a few hours. That's what's when, frustrating. Yeah, she has that talk with Nobu, and it's like, oh yeah, when you make your decision and you're done with Takumi, like I'll, I'll wait for you, come find me, whatever. Mm. Which she does literally the next day, and she calls Takumi, but it's like and she never says like we're over. She like never call me back or something like that. Like, Which I okay, okay. That was but weird. let's be real. It does sound like you're breaking up. Never call me. But like you know the way she was doing it, what like he just assumed that it was just like a woman exactly, thing. Yeah. Which is like both of them were wrong anyways, but like. But also, she could technically say like, "Yeah, I broke up with him. I told him never to contact me again." Yeah. How? What? What else is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I mean. Like when people are like stu- get stuck to this technicality, it's like, like, no, I told you not to ever contact me. That yeah. means we're broken up. <laughs> yeah. That's just that's a weird thing to like be like. Actually, you technically did not say the words "broken up." <laughs> <laughs> so, Those two words <laughs> specifically. But like, were they ever together anyways? Like. The guy exactly. just literally never calls her except for like when he has to make sure that she's not seeing anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, so. yeah, basically to come and, and tell her, I hate that someone else yeah. was inside you. You. <laughs> I hate that so much. Why did you have to bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> because we're like... talking about Takumi and I need everyone, everyone <sighs> who's watching this to remember. Yeah. In case that you like ever feel is. bad for him, like no, don't. Wait, let let me fix this. I'm balanced and it's bothering me. <laughs> but Still. also, like Hachi is like she's always like trying. She's always cooking things for them and like she's always like she like, thinks she a lot means about well. them. She means well, but she doesn't think enough. Yeah, exactly. Like she just has like like based on how quickly she changes her mind about things and stuff like that. I just know that she doesn't... She forgets the same way as we forgot that she was, for example, dating Shoji. Yeah, I know. Like, at some point, I was like, oh, Shoji was a thing. Like, I was like, oh, I oh forgot, my God. forgot about and it. I feel girl? like Hachi lives the same way. Like, she gets like a like a goldfish. Yeah. Like, one... Like, one... Um, not circle. One lap around mm. the aquarium. She completely forgets yeah. what the fuck happened before. Um... Talking about Shoji, I think we need to mention what's her name, Sachiko. Sachiko. Like before we go on to something else, because like that's another like I don't really understand that character. It's kind of messed up, looking like a teenage boy. Exactly. Dressing like a child. She looks like she's like a twelve-year-old boy. Mm. And the thing is, listen, I I know that some people look young, but you can still tell that they are not children yeah. like they have something about them that that lets you know right that they mm-hmm. are not children yeah and with her she's definitely playing into it too like her behavior well, that's the thing. her yeah. clothes and he's her, like everything he's buying into because like what made him like nana is like she was kind of like acting like a child and he had to take care of her and oh you know once she like tries to mature and like move to Tokyo with him and take starts taking care of the house and everything he just moves on to like the next mm. child he can find around that's oh like God. yeah so gross but it's true I'm not a big fan of it's Shoji so true. either mm. oh I hate Shoji yeah. I hate that guy I know that like there's like a moment where they kind of reconcile at the end you know when she's already pregnant yeah. and everything but I don't give a shit no I, don't I, give I a think shit. like he should have just disappeared that he it wasn't necessary to keep him yeah around. you know like she like starts crying and she's like oh like I'm, I'm I miss him as like a person I wish we didn't end like this and it's like it's fine just find another friend yeah it's Honestly, not that big of a deal like yeah. he's not irreplaceable he's the type of he's the guy who lied to you yeah for a few weeks while he was dating another girl, yeah. sleeping with her, yeah. fucking her, yeah. while he was coming, like he, while he was literally telling you that it was all fine. And yeah. then when she ran out of the restaurant and you were waiting for him in the cold, yeah. he didn't even think to say sorry. No. Except like he, he and, and he has the audacity to get offended that she's not fighting for him. Yeah. And Sachiko is like a, like, I don't know, four foot nothing. Yeah. Kid. Like literally, he's like half his size, his height, and he's not even that tall. No. I thought he's like probably two meters tall no. or something like that. No, that motherfucker is like he just surrounds himself or with something. like yeah, he just surrounds himself with it's like, like sh- very short. I always forget how small characters are supposed mm. to be in like mangas and anime. I'm always like the guy is really tall because they're always like really thin and like you know like. 
they look tall, but no, they're not. No. It, and because the, all the girls are like literally like 140 yeah. centimeters tall or something. And it's like, why, why are you that short? Yeah. I understand that like they're, the people there are shorter, but not that much. No. Come on now. They're not literal children. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I know that there's a lot of people who are like, well, as a Western person, that's why you like see it as like creepy um, that she looks like a child or whatever, but it's not like that or whatever. And it's like, no, like it is. Yeah. Because we have the same thing here where, where men like when we infantilize ourselves mm -mm. to them yeah. because they feel superior. Yeah. It's a, it's a thing everywhere. It's just very magnified and ingrained into like um, uh, popular culture mm -hmm. in Japan. N not like here we're more like explicitly sexual and like I'm an adult even though like yeah. like I'm 14 I'm trying to look yeah, like yeah, an yeah. adult, right? Yeah. And there it's like other way around. Yeah, the opposite. Which I don't know. It's just it's all from the same thing. It's all from misogyny anyway. Yeah. So yeah. That was that. Also, we've got to talk about Shion. She's never mentioned anywhere in the Nana community, but my girl deserves the world. She's my biggest crush in the manga. Love her, love her style, whether it be the present or uh, the present one or the one she had back then. Um, she kills it, and I love how she views her love for Yasu. I, I also want to talk about her because yeah. People don't talk about her. No, never. And I, I find her to be a, quite an interesting character. I also took a screenshot of her when she showed up for the first time on, not on screen. I guess she was she was in the in the manga, um, because. Is she even in the anime? I don't think so. I don't think it, it stops comes before, to right? It. Yeah, I don't think it reaches that point because I think that she's from Osaka or something. Yeah. Oh no, she's not. She was with Yasu and everyone at school, I think. Well, in any case. But like very briefly. Yeah, I don't think I have it on my laptop. I think I have it on my phone. But in any case, I like took a screenshot because she had like this like suit with like a lot of um, Vivian Westwood yeah. and it looked really good on her. She's really pretty, and I was like, yeah, so what the fuck are you thinking?" <laughs> See, there what? we go. We found something wrong about him. Just... Okay, but this is just because I'm vain and I'm like, she's pretty. Why aren't you? Well, that's the thing. Why can't he find like why does he have to like go for like something difficult when? Like he never went for Nana. He well, never wanted to go for her. Yeah, I think that. He, but she didn't want. I don't think she wanted. Like she, she just wanted Ren. Oh, you mean Hachiko? No, no. I think. Yeah. I I mean that he. Yasu never actually made like a move on her or even planned on doing it. Cause well, like, like, cause even if they're not together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're never gonna be not together. Yeah. Like, he can't do it to his friend, his, like, his, his brother, more, basically. Yeah, I they see them more as siblings. Like, I, I don't think he would have ever done anything. But, like, yeah. He, like, he is in love with her. He says that, they talk about it. Yeah. And then Nana gets, like, also another thing that's really weird. I think that it's... the. I don't think Nana was ever in love with him, though. No. And that's the thing. But like, she's I don't so think selfish he, that yeah. she was like, I would even date him if he would, like... Yeah. Cause, Cause she just but likes he, I think someone knows, choosing her. I think he knows she's not in love with him. So I don't think he would want that sort of relationship. But he also can't do it to Ren. Yeah. Well, that too. Exactly. Yeah. But like either way, I don't... I think he... Yeah. That's why he starts dating, da dating Mew when yeah. um, Ren and Nana are starting to have issues. And Nana keeps on like waiting yeah. for him to make a move. Which is yeah. really weird because she was like walking to, to, to Ren's dressing room yeah. and she like is thinking in her head, oh Yasu, like how could you? I'm going to his dressing room because you didn't like sleep with me right now. And it's like, what? How was he yeah, supposed was, to know first yeah. of all? But second of all, you can't just use him to sleep with him or no. to have him around whenever you need him yeah. to, to always like comfort you and whatever. And then... Well, and I think Yasu was very aware of that. And oh, he is. Yeah, he was aware of that before even oh, she totally. was aware of that. Yeah, and like he's just smart enough that he's gonna protect himself. I think if like yeah they start getting involved in all that stuff like that that's just it's it's messed up. He's also trying to protect Ren to be honest. I think that he yeah. maybe would have made a move on on Nana anyway. Yeah, if Ren was not yeah for if sure. If he wasn't in the picture, yeah. uh, but but even when they're not together, they're still like. He would have yeah yeah. Well, I think he's still friend with she Ren have, anyways. She would have cheated on him with Ren. I'm, I'm like 100% oh, sure she sure. would have done that. Yeah. Because something about them is 
like ridiculously irrational. Mm -hmm. They just cannot be around each other. Yeah. <laughs> But worst. let's talk about Xion, because like she uh -huh. has a very interesting approach. The way that you kind of find out how she feels about Yasuo is when she talks to Nana's sister. Yeah. And she tells her, like, um, you can love somebody by doing nice things for them, which is, again, a weird conversation. Yeah. Because, what's her name, Misato? She tells her that she's in love with her brother. Yeah, I do remember that actually. I was like, yeah. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? How did we end up here? And also, like, instead of encouraging it or telling her, like, oh, yeah, you're, like, in love with him. You can do things that make him happy and, like, that would be enough for you or something mm -hmm. like that. But it's something, it's something along those lines of, like, you could just love them and do things for them that make them happy and that would be your way of, like, being loved by them or something. Yeah. I don't know. But that's that's how she views yeah so basically doing things for him yeah even though he's n not gonna date her or be with her um it's kind of like, sad i i do not get it yeah i really don't i don't know what's happening there to be honest it's just fucking weird um i wish it was shown what kind of relationship they had maybe then there would be at least one flaw yeah. for yeah so maybe they actually did like maybe he wasn't mm -mm. um Actually, no, I don't even... <laughs> they just know. lived, yeah, that's just I not acknowledge it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like, cause there's no like evidence that he did anything wrong, yeah. basically. But the the issue is that, I guess he didn't love her back. Yeah. Which, I mean, you can't really control that. Um, you see, he could have used her and he didn't. So superior to Takumi once again. <laughs> 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 you know what? It's really yeah. not that difficult to be so well, to, to commit. I, just, very <laughs> I just wanted to like just remind everyone. You just you yeah. just have to uh, not rape anyone, and you would already be superior. That's true. That's very that's a very low threshold yeah, of like no of superiority. Really, yeah. Mm. But yeah, Shion was like to uh, telling Misato. Yeah. That uh, she, what was it? Oh, she was like, oh, you could do this, whatever. Instead of that, she should have been like, oh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's love that you're experiencing. I think it's like brotherly love. You just, you just don't like the fact that he was always taking care of you, and now he's taking care of somebody else, and you feel left out. That's what it is. Like she should have explained to her yeah. that this is not romantic love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of being like, yeah, you have romantic feelings for your, for for your brother. It's like stop, automatically. Stop encouraging yeah, incest. I that's so weird instead of putting that weird idea into this child's head because because what is she like 14 or something like that she she just confused the feelings because yeah. it's really hard to differentiate them when you experience them for the first time yeah that's why a lot of the time you think that you love someone when you're in that age group when in reality you just want them to like you yeah so you under so you can feel like you are likable yeah, in, this, yeah, yeah. in this society oh, the totally. way that it functions yeah. like there's it's it's very common for children of that age to have those types of uh, experiences when they like go. Like on professors. I think anyone. I'm in love. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm in love. I'm like uh, uh, like romantic and whatever. And it's like no. It, it, sometimes yeah. sometimes they are. They can have a crush on like a professor or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, fair enough. But sometimes when it comes to these things, where like her brother got engaged and he moved out, and she's like. Yeah. I love him. I think that but whatever. And it's like, you know, like she's saying it's like a romantic the same, way. Yeah. But it's like, no, it's no. not a romantic way. It's just he took care of you your yeah. whole life. Yeah. And now he's not around anymore. Yeah. And he's taking care of somebody else. Yeah. So you feel jealousy, yes. But it's not because you have romantic yeah. feelings for him. It's because yeah. he, he was just your caretaker. Yeah, I know he's not around just for you. Like, yeah. 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 Like, it's pretty normal to have this jealousy feeling to family members. Or well, even, like, yeah. Or even friends. Yeah. People sometimes have th those feelings about friends when, like, you um, introduce someone to yeah, someone. And then they become friend. better friends yeah, and yeah. you're like, well, I feel left I out. And, like, you or feel a little jealous. Or just thinking about your friend having other friends. Like, yeah, you're like, some people cannot deal with that. I should be the only one. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. And it's like, oh my god, it's like not a behavior. Honestly, put fucking yeah. locks on everyone everyone's necks come on come on come over yeah, here like i'm gonna put a collar. lock on you <laughs> i'm gonna put a lock on you hopa <laughs> little doggy dog that's hopa you yes. can't love any other dog except for me except for me and i agree i agree with, to that uh oh i think she's right well <laughs> in any case so that's the Xion part. She's really pretty. And it's i thought it was really funny when she was talking to this, this guy i don't remember who he was and he goes 
oh like uh, oh she was like oh i have like a very expensive taste or something like yeah. that or something along those lines and he goes uh well how do you afford it and she's like oh um like you know um i'm kind of wasting my like my dad's money and whatever and he's like oh like you're from a rich family and she's like no not that kind of dad <laughs> and i was like she on oh, oh i forgot about it huh? i was like she on too okay oh my gosh i guess yasu is not the only one who's, no. <laughs> who's around oh my goodness that's so funny <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look at other questions, screenshots that I have. Yeah, what do you think about how Ayazawa depicts human bonds? I have always thought that social relationships in Nana are very nuanced. Sometimes they seem deep and strong. Sometimes they seem abusive and toxic. Yeah. Um, sometimes I wonder with like a lot of stories in general, like storytelling and stuff. Um, like in that manga, like mm-hmm. is there any relationship? Like healthy ones. I don't think so. <laughs> kind of Yasu and Miu. Yeah, kind eventually, of. but like, that's not really a thing that we see all along. Oh yeah, but also I guess that they started dating because he was like, I need to get a girlfriend, so I don't. Yeah. Go for Nana. So still like yeah. But I mean, he still he chose with his head, not with his heart. I guess at first, yeah. the same way as Miu. Told him that I'd rather someone chooses me with the with their head, yeah, and with their like just with their mind that they like rationally think that I would be a good match for them rather than with their heart, which is like. I kind of get it. But then you have a relationship like. Hachi but like, what is your heart? Your heart is your mind, technically, yeah. because people usually call um, when they talk about choosing with their heart, they talk about their genitals. <laughs> they don't usually mean their head. Yeah. Do you know what but I mean? like, then Hachi picking Takumi because he's the like obvious reason or whatever for her having the kid and him taking care of her and everything. Like, it's still not really like the most rational decision, really. Like she could have gone back to her parents. Yeah, she could have sure. still stayed with. But people like that in our head and like the way like when she goes to Junko because she doesn't know the whole thing. Like she's still like picks him because he can you know like pay provide for everything. or whatever yeah. yeah no i know that she's choosing like based on that yeah. but i also don't so know like, who she is really because yeah. like it feels like she just wants to also be the wife of this guy from trap nest yeah in some ways so like in rational choices are like probably very different for depending on your beliefs i guess or like what you yeah. were raised with yeah. or i don't know but I like like Miu and Yasu in terms of like yeah. they like immediately start like uh, helping each other. Like when Ren mm. dies, Miu takes care of so many things, and Yasu's yeah. like, "Oh, thank you for taking care of it." And it's like yeah. this is the first time I've seen somebody helping Yasu know. instead of going, "Yasu, can you fix my problem?" It was nice. I know. Also, I like that he he went like for work or whatever, and he like runs back and he's like, "I forgot something." He's like, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I, some, I forgot something it was so cute I was like oh, oh my no. god he's not like finally yeah he's yes, not like finds. you know the person who's like just behind those glasses all the it's time true you know no yeah. we want yes to be happy so I think that they fit yeah well final yeah I guess we can have this one as like a healthy and it was also cute when Miwa was like uh, like are you she was she was like asking him something and then she goes no don't don't answer that I'm getting excited and like I don't want to I don't want to like feel love I just wanted to be very Ew. rational yeah, like don't don't do this to me <laughs> I'm feeling excited that's terrible <laughs> it's so cute I know um but yeah I think that it just came to mind and I wanted to like finish that thought um yeah. about how they treat uh, sexual assault in this story. Yeah. Um, there's also a moment where again it's made like light off. Um, first of all, there's never any um, consequences mm-hmm. for. True, in the story. actually, it's briefly, like they don't even acknowledge it. It happens, and we and they know move it on. is, but it's like it never happened. Yeah, they just move on from yeah. it, and then the the characters never have like resentment or. Um, PTSD or no, any yeah, other right? re- reactions that would be normal for a human being to have. Yeah, that's like yeah. That that's what I wonder about. So for for the question that we're talking about, yeah. um, that's what I wonder about when I read 
stories or I watch something or whatever, yeah. I always wonder whether the relationships are actually nuanced mm-hmm. or if they are just um, irrational. Yeah. Because I feel the same way about life. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's like people say like, oh, like this person is so complicated. He's not complicated. He's just violent, mm-hmm. for example. Yeah, like do we need to find excuses for every sort of behavior? Or yeah. can we just be like, no, he's just acting that way? Because yeah. he's an asshole. Mm-hmm. And like sometimes I'm just like, is it really a complicated relationship or are they just doing nonsense? Yeah. Like there's just no... It's not like there are two rational human beings who have feelings, who are trying to act upon those feelings or whatever, mm. and they're doing it like in the best way that they could. It's always just like mess on top of mess on top of mess. And when you try to understand their... Um, like their behavior or their motivations, mm. you kind of re- like you start realizing they don't have motivations sometimes. Well, or like you see Nana and Ren, mm. like they don't communicate ever. They never do. Yeah, they see each other. Like she goes to his place when she's in distress, or like yeah, when they get back together, mm. they like they don't even talk I think like they have a brief conversation in the bath maybe the first night in the hotel and Mm. then that's it like they see each other they just bang and just like yeah she's asleep he goes to work he's asleep she goes to work they leave like they don't even it's really weird it is they like they never talk about things really and like it's definitely uh, like I understand why Nana has like such a difficult time (laughs) in terms of uh, accepting her love for him and stuff like that because yeah. he is the type of like he is the person who wants to trap her with babies. Yeah. Like he that's his ultimate goal basically. Yeah. Like he genuinely wants that. And um I feel like I don't know, it's just really strange because like they they spend more time apart than they do together. But it's also weird because they talk about how like if they're apart, they cannot be together. Yeah. And it's like what do you mean? Yeah, that the, the whole relationship is like really weird it doesn't make any sense another thing that i i feel like nobody um no one no one wrote that in the comments and you should have because <laughs> i want to talk how about how dare it. you how dare Maybe you I should have commented it um but a question of like why the hell did ren want to kill nana that's probably like a weird seed and then see like but he didn't say i wanna i wanna kill myself after that too he's he, just like said, he tried to like you mean asphyxiation? Like the, that, yeah. yeah, but that's asphyxiation, like, but like for, for... Still. It's always... Intercourse. Like, <laughs> Me trying to find a word. I know, that's not gonna be, like... But, um, like, there's always, like, they're always really borderline, and, like, they have to, like, go into, like, the very, like, yeah, he would not, like, Romeo and Juliet or, like, Cena and Nancy and stuff, but, like, still very selfish because they wouldn't do that to themselves. It's just... Because. Yeah, but it's so weird because sometimes he's, like what if I actually kill you? Like, what are we going to do about it, right? And then he talks to Rayra, I think, about it. And he goes, yeah. like, sometimes I think, like, I, I want to kill Nana. And I was like, Ren? But once again, like, Ren? they never really go deep <laughs> into fuck? that. Yeah. Th- nothing is They're explained. Like, they will never deal with any feelings they have, any, like, you know, like, go see a therapist, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Like, that's you never have the mentioned, money. right? You have the money. Yeah. That's like, actually the all of them. Actually, they all probably need to see someone. Yeah, and he's addicted to coke, so he definitely needs to go see somebody. Yeah. And the fact that Takumi goes, "Oh, you're weak that you can't drop it on your own." It's like, no, he needs some like other help. drugs to yeah. wean him off, so he doesn't throw up for two weeks and like exactly. and like shake violently. Yeah. Like you, you have to be doing detox like detox properly. Yeah. What the hell do you mean that mm-hmm. he's like weak? That's such a That's stupid a, yeah. way of looking it's at still, things. Yeah. Like, have you ever had an addiction? No, you haven't. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Would you stop? Quit smoking? Just like this? By the way, by the way, yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just saying. I know. As if as if smoking is that great for yeah. you. Like, you know? Or like abusing women. Oh my god. Yeah. But when will you quit woman? that? Yeah. When will you quit that? Exactly. Um, and also, like, that's the thing. That they've been together for, like, three months and he's already cheating on her. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. And I don't mean Rayra, I mean the other, the actress. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. What the... Mm-mm. Oh, no, I cannot. 
Yeah. I feel like Rayra and um, Ren would be a better couple, honestly. Like, they would be healthier for each other. <sighs> or like Rayra. Actually, no, they wouldn't be. You know no, what? No, I just like, or like. <laughs> I take it an, back. I an take older it back. version of Shin, maybe, could have been cute. If it wasn't like her. For Rayra? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like. There's definitely, I definitely, I'm a little bit salty. Yeah. About the fact that this relationship is um, in nature. Yeah. Because those two characters are um, one of the few characters in the story that make a lot of sense in terms of their personalities and backstories. Yeah. Because both of them are half yeah. Japanese, yeah. half white. Different white, I'm assuming. I think that she's British and he's Swedish. Um, he has a British English when he mm-hmm. speaks English. Yeah. Um, the, the, they both they were both kind of ostracized for the fact that they are not pure Japanese. Yeah. She was forced to lie about it. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, they were explaining it as like, oh, people would just like compliment me because of that. But it's like, no, girl. No. Like, if you're mixed, you're not gonna have a fun time mm-hmm. in Japan. You're yeah. just not going to. Even if you're mixed with with white people and not with someone who they like have more um, issues with, mm-hmm. you know. But it's just like... Why did they have to have... Yeah, like... They're both isolated. Both of them are used. Yeah. Um, one of them is used uh, for her voice. Yeah. And kept in like a tower, yeah. basically yeah. alone. And the other one is kept alone until he's used by older women. Yeah. So they're both... They have a lot of things in common. They're both... They're, um, they, their Japanese is not as good as everyone else's. Yeah. Everyone gets so mad at Shin for not speaking proper Japanese. Where he was and I'm like, calm abroad. down. Like, he makes it clear Do from the beginning. Do you speak any other language? Because of no. course they don't. They only speak Japanese. Yeah, because when he helps... Uh, what's her name? The... Mi, Misoko? Mi, Misato? Misato. With her homework. And oh, like, yeah. that's when we discover that, like, yeah, he was raised by two Japanese abroad, but... Like the like his dad was a really big. But they jerk. didn't talk to him. But like basically. they never really well, and they never really acknowledged that like his dad's not his dad. Like yeah. he probably just figured it out because his dad just hates him. Yeah, and for him it was like a point yeah. of contention because his brother and his dad would yeah. always scream at him like, "Why can't you speak proper Japanese yeah. and whatever?" And it's like when they raise him, like yeah, he doesn't. Like, he they're d- the reason why, probably. First of all, yeah, but yeah. also like he's not getting just like small things. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Who gives a shit? I don't know. Do you speak any other language? Because yeah, I'm I'm one hundred percent sure they don't. Yeah, probably not. They one. Yeah. They're probably one of those people because because people who speak more than one language they have more perspective on these things. Mm-hmm. They yeah. don't say stupid shit like yeah. that. I don't know, like making fun of your accent or the way you pronounce words. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> no, 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 we're not gonna do that. Um, but it's just like yeah. both of them definitely, definitely their background is the fact that they are like mixed race. Yeah. Um, they, I like them together. I'm just sad it's like pedophilia. <laughs> yeah. No, the thing is, like, I know that some people are like, oh, the age of consent in Japan is, like, 12 years old. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. That's pedophilia. Mm-hmm. I do not care. 12 years old is a ridiculous age to even talk about yeah. sex. Like, I mean, like, you can talk about it in terms of education. Yeah. But I, I mean, like, not a single 12-year-old should be having sex. No. That's fucking weird. That's a child. Even with a 12-year-old. That's just weird. Yeah. I was definitely not thinking about that when I was 12. Yeah. No, it's just like you. I was thinking about it in terms of like I cannot believe that this is a thing. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, yeah. I was disturbed it's since they, like the very young age. I was like, I cannot. This this must be made up because this is so stupid. Uh-huh. This can be real. You just put a thing in the thing, <laughs> and what for? Seriously? <sighs> I was I, I, the 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 thing that disturbed me the most yeah. was um menstruation though oh yeah i found out about it way too early Mm -hmm. i found out about it when i was like three or four and i was i was disturbed and i thought that this was a lie for sure because my i heard it it wasn't yeah i heard (laughs) it from my mom like accidentally and i was like that can't be right and she's like no no no, it is and i'm like that sounds so stupid yeah you cannot tell me that we bleed every month Uh and it's just normal yeah Uh, (laughs) and i still think that and I still think that, that's, even that's, now, that's not fair. at my grown ass age, yeah. I'm still pissed about it. Every month it comes, I'm like, "What? Are you fucking kidding me I know. again? No. <laughs> Seriously? When will it end?" I know. 
anyway. Mm, touchy subject, but yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so another question we have um, is, I would be interested in your thoughts about Nana and Nana's relationship in general. What do you like about them together? Or do you think it's unhealthy to a certain degree? I like them. Like, especially the beginning of their relationship and like the timing. They mm. found each other, I think when they both needed a partner and like yeah like the whole like seven apartment 707 <laughs> i love their like cute glasses with the strawberries yeah they have like a lot of cute things they share together and mm -hmm. like even when the whole band come to their place they have like a a place to go to together and like it's kind of cute. Like, I, yeah. And I like, wish it lasted yeah, longer. Yeah, that's the thing. And, like, there's obviously a man in the story that's going to ruin everything Fuck once yeah. again. Why couldn't they live there until they were, like, 30 and then think about kids right? and marriage? Yeah. Like, why did you have to do it at the age of 20? Yeah. Do you have nothing else to do? I mean, so, Hachi doesn't, but yeah. <laughs> but and you could come up with something. Literally, until until Takubi gets to the picture, it's, it's good. Like, I like everything, pretty much. I remember that the first time... Because um, the thing is, when I was like 14, a lot of my friends were watching Nana and they were like really into it. Mm -hmm. But I was like scared to watch it. But what I did, I read the plot. Yeah. And I read the plot of every episode. Yeah. And I remember being like surprised that it already, like they're already not living together. Mm -hmm. I was like, but didn't they just move in together? Yeah. And I was right. Like yeah. it was really quick. And it made no sense that they already like moved out and whatever. And... um Everything was a little bit too, too fast. Yeah. Too fast for all of them. And like the fact that it's like technically just one year happening. That's why and I'm it like. It feels like five years. Exactly, and also it's so weird because it's like, why is Nana and Nana are so like a? Why are they so obsessed with each other if they only live together for like a couple of months? Yeah. It's also weird because I like, think they're both like they they both obsessed with each other, but they're both really selfish, so. Eventually, yeah, this does not work. I'm just fighting here with my dog mm -hmm. because she's rolling around in my arms. Yeah, I don't know. I think that I kind of like I like them together. I do think they're they are toxic, but not like they don't have toxic effect on each other. No, but they are toxic in terms of um, the way that they're trying to. I guess Hachi doesn't really have that much of like a like a toxic kind of thing for Nana. Oh no, actually she does. You she's know what? obsessed. Yeah. She's obsessed, but she's also like uh, she doesn't see her as like a human being as much as she just see sees or her as like, like a, a manga goddess. character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why yeah. Junko calls her a guru. And yeah, stuff she, like that. yeah like that's she is like that for her. I know. And for Nana, that's that's the thing that like the most messed up thing that she's done is like trying to get her and Nobu together just so she could let her play. In the play, like in the backyard or whatever she yeah. said, right? Like I, it's a little fucked up to be like, I just want this girl that I, she farted. My dog farted. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, she just kind of like goes, oh, I want her to be mine. Yeah, they just have a house with a big garden where you can just come whenever you need or you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Like mm -hmm. I'll keep you there. Like it's yeah. They have like a and bunch like, of weird trying to get her with Nobu because of that so is also she, well, weird. and she says it. She's like the only reason why she wants Nobu to have Hachi is so, so she, she can have both of them, you know, like their puppies. Because mm -hmm. like even when they get together for like a really brief moment, mm -hmm. there's like a the way they draw them is like two puppies with Nana. Oh yeah, they yeah. do. But also like that's the thing that when they were together and like Nobu was kind of like before Nobu did what made yeah. me dislike him. Um, he was like so cute. Like he was like, oh, like before I was, I thought that I would needed to be like a macho, mm. but now like- I know, like and, I and, can like, yeah. and like, yeah. And like, he's just such soft. a little, like soft little- He is. Boy, I love him so oh. much. I love a man that's like, not not like, uh, doesn't know how to cook or clean or something, but but cute in a way, like Nobu was in that Yeah, well he, moment. yeah, just, yeah vulnerable but not really scared about that yeah really like cute too. they're just soft like yeah. and gentle and and nice mm. i feel like shin would have been like that if he wasn't shin raised. Is, shin is great because he's he's such a like cute child mm. but somehow, he's really really pretty um, and it's like just so like abused by a bunch of people around him yeah 
uh, to the point where he doesn't even like he didn't even see it as abuse because mm-hmm. the thing is Rayra, I, because the other question also under it was uh, the thing that made me the most uncomfortable apart from Hachiko was the Rayra dating a minor with no mm-hmm. legal custody that cares about so him, good. that is getting played, oh, paid as a gigolo and smokes. Yeah. Um, I agree. Yeah. The smoking part, almost everyone in Europe and in Asia smoke at that age. Which uh, is they not smoke. good. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's good, but, but it's, it's just it's not. It's more normal. It's not yeah. an anomaly. Um, it's not like you specifically. No. Yeah, in high school, every, everyone smoked. Everyone smoked, yeah. And I, even before all that. Of, like, everyone I knew started smoking when they were 12. Yeah. So I couldn't, like, I can't judge him too much for that I because know. I've seen the, I've seen people do it too much like to be, like... pressure and, like, yeah. The, like yeah, this. but also, like, he's... he's um, It's not like he's doing it because he doesn't have uh, someone, like, looking over him as much as it just mm. was, like, a thing for everyone Um so it's not specifically because he's like without custody. Um, no, yeah, he, if, yeah, he would have. Yeah, he would have it, done like, it bef- even like without it. Like high school it. and stuff, like kids together. Yeah, yeah but the the gigolo part is really really sad and so sad. Um, to be honest with Rayra, like I, I really dislike their um, age difference. I hate that he was fifteen and she's like twenty three. Yeah. Uh, when they start seeing each other. Yeah. It's really bad for him. He's a child. Um, he's a child. This is ridiculous. I really yeah. feel bad for him that he, that she was one of the, she was the youngest that he was with. Yeah. The youngest person. She's 23. Oh, no. Like, it's just messy, like, just thinking about, it, like, this, like, logistically. Yeah. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, but I think that the person that I hate the most is not even Rayra, but... Uh, Ryoko, that bitch who was his pimp. Yeah. Um, because based on like what was said in terms of like the timeline, mm-hmm. she started to pimp him out when he was twelve, Ugh. or like thirteen, yeah. something like Ugh. that. Like it just makes me. It's so sad. Uh, it's just sad. Just yeah. like the way he's drawn in the mon- like the manga or the anime, like. I don't. I think you tend to forget his age, but think about a twelve-year-old child. That's the thing. I wish. I wish they like you know. There was like a few moments where he actually looks like his age. A baby. Yeah. And I wish that they would do that more. Yeah. Uh, because regardless of how pretty he is, he still looks like a child. Like there's not a single guy at the age of Mm fifteen. Who actually looks like a grown man, especially yeah. without facial hair. Like if if he yeah, gro- yeah. if he, he grows out facial hair. I remember when I was in high school and like boys around me who were like sixteen, we were like you know yeah, yeah. the same age. Yeah. They would grow out their beards and yeah. they would look twenty five. Like for sure, sure. But, like, but he's without yeah, facial hair. But like he looks the same age as Nobu or even Ren. Like and they're they're all different. That's you know? the thing. That's the thing. I I understand it, like with Nobu because Nobu is like shorter and yeah. Nobu is like cuter. He looks like a cute boy. Like yeah. he's a little bit yeah. one of those people that look a little bit younger. But the fact that he looks the same age or just slightly younger than Ren, who's yeah. twenty four, yeah. and a grown ass man, a yeah. huge man. Yeah, it's just like yeah, like it a makes little you forget bit. about it. But he's still like fifteen. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. uncomfortable and yeah. i also feel like not a little bit it's very uncomfortable i wish he was drawn a little bit more like a child yeah. because especially there was a moment where um it's specifically underlined yeah by ryoko yeah again i f- feel so sad for him because like he was basically with ryoko um for my troll right before yeah but right before he got caught uh by the police yeah um he got raided, I'm pretty sure, because of his brother. Yeah. I think his brother sent somebody uh, to, like, raid Ryoko and stuff like that. But not because he was concerned for him, but because no, he wanted he him was, to get in trouble exactly. and to yeah. lose everything that he had. His family is just... Messed up. <sighs> just terrible. But, um... Even when Yasu goes, because he needs some papers to be signed. He, he goes was so, and, like, angry yeah. about it, too. Yeah, and he just, like, he says clearly doesn't have any attachment, nothing for sure. I never, I never felt, like, no. any attachment to and him. Like, I was like, he okay, still Jesus him Christ. From, like, I don't know, it was just so sad. Yeah, and, um, so she says to him, 
before they get raided when he came back to her again after he stopped seeing Rayra. Which is like, see, that, that's the thing that like, I, I hate that they were seeing each other, but at least he wasn't seeing Ryoko mm -hmm. and he stopped seeing those other older women. Yeah. Anyway, so with Ryoko, she tells him, he gets out of bed and she tells him, oh, like you're starting to like really like become a man you need to like stop growing yeah. because you're not gonna look like a boy anymore and it's so fucking disturbing because it's one thing when because they draw him as if he is a man so you don't realize um i think that they that, that i as i should have drawn him a bit more like a boy because yeah. everyone who was abusing him were abusing him because they were pedophiles yeah. and because they were they they liked younger boys and stuff like yeah. that they liked 15 year old 12 yeah, year old boys yeah. and stuff like that and you should have like they should have underlined that in terms of like the way that he looks because in the manga she literally tells him to stop growing because he's not gonna look like a boy anymore yeah. right That's and the most up. disturbing part is that not just that she says it but that he stops eating after that just so he doesn't grow that much poor kid the only thing that kind of gets him out of that is that like when he gets raided and he kind of fucks up everything for everybody and Yasuo is like no we're not gonna bail him out and tell him that it's not his fault it is his fault and yeah. he needs to feel it yeah um like he needs to take responsibility for it yeah and afterwards when they see each other um he calls Ryoko I think he either calls her or he sends her a message or like an email or something yeah. and he's like or oh, maybe fuck I don't I honestly don't remember whether wh how he said it or what was said but basically yeah. he, he either wrote to Reira or to Ryoko that I'm I think he wrote to Reira that like I'm going to become this dude or whatever and the dude that he was talking about was like a grown man you know like really well, tall and, and strong and whatever because I think I like there's a moment where when she hears that Takumi is getting married, she calls Shin and like she like he wants to help her and mm. then she's basically like, Oh, give me Yasu's number and I think that kinda hit oh, him yeah. too. He named some kind of actor yeah. or something like that. And I think it was because I think that they showed that moment because he changed before mm -hmm. the raid and after he got caught with uh Ryoko yeah. that he stopped wanting to be a boy. Yeah. That he stopped starving himself just to stay small yeah, yeah, yeah. because he says i'm going to grow i'm mm -hmm. going to become a man yeah. i'm not going to stay a boy yeah. for women to abuse me yeah. and to be happy with me and whatever Good. Yeah. because before even though he already was in a group that was starting to be successful and everything yeah. he was he still went to ryoko and he still when she told him to to not grow up he still decided to starve himself yeah. just to not yeah, grow yeah. So it's it's really nice to see that this cycle of abuse kind of stopped. Yeah. Like God. he decided mm. that he doesn't want it anymore. And I love his lighter. I know. His lighter I is the best thing so ever. Bad. Yeah. The only thing is that of course Vivian Westwood doesn't use good materials. Like they use like brass. Yeah. And shit like that that's gonna like turn your fingers green. I want like a good quality Vivian Westwood lighter. Just like he wears it all the time. Like it's so pretty. It's sickening. Mm. Absolutely sickening. Child should not have that. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Ren. Did he commit I hope not. I think I find it confusing. Because a lot of people were like, I don't understand why people think that he committed suicide, whatever. The thing is, he definitely it seems like based on the clues around that he was uh at his happiest point, yeah, like he decided to figure things out with Nana, yeah, and he decided to pick up Rera and to keep Trapness together, not yeah. leave Trapness, yeah. And he also w was really excited to meet Satsuki, yeah. which is like Hachiko, yes, daughter. Hachiko's daughter. And then he dies, right? But the thing is, so so it looks like he was basically trying to lose the paparazzi, and that's why he died and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But then at the same time afterwards the police say that he didn't try to stop to the, stop the yeah. car he didn't he didn't try to break mm -hmm. which is really strange and no. also didn't he run into his old house because he went to their hometown yeah I think and so. they said that he and ran into the, he, it's yeah. like you he couldn't have 
accidentally <laughs> run into his old house, yeah. the apartment where him and Nana well, were we together. Well, we know he definitely had some mental health issues, even though it was never really... All of them do. Yeah. Who, who, like, who out of them does like, But like, you know, to like a suicidal point where like, you know, plus drug abuse and all that stuff. I can see why they would like, you know, hint that he tried, he just committed suicide. I mean, that's the thing that I know that it was definitely supposed to be uh, kind of a thing that the characters assumed. Yeah. So because of the evidence and whatever that yeah. the characters thought that this is what happened, except for maybe Rayra because she knew that he was coming yeah. after her. Yeah. So she maybe thought something else. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it, it does kind of make sense because he said that he cannot kick the addiction and yeah. Takumi did... Uh, refused to help, refused to yeah. go to the hospital, to get him to the hospital because it would be a scandal. So he had no choice, yeah. technically. He knew that he can't ruin Trapnest. Yeah. But then if he dies, he also ruins Trapnest, doesn't he? But like, maybe in his head it's like not... Uh, they can find another guitarist. Or, or like, the image of like, you know, you're ruining it because you're a drug addict, whereas ruining it because you, you, died, you died in a car accident. Car accident. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Which know, and also stupid, like, but... the fact that his hands were not touched, I no. did not understand that, like, if it's a metaphor and it was an accidental no. thing, I don't get it. If it wasn't a metaphor and it was something that he was trying to protect, why? I'm fully against his death. <laughs> I mean, yeah, me too, but it's kind of like... I know. This is not what I wanted to It's see. like the core of the story, really. Because no, from the very beginning, the way that Nanas talk to each other mm. through, like, flashbacks or whatever. Yeah, I know. Like, from the very beginning, you were like, something happened. I thought that Nana maybe died. I know. I until thought, I yeah. reached the end. I thought that the way that they were speaking was like, Yeah, she was oh, talking to her as like, yeah. <sighs> still, did, still sad. Still sad. No, it's terrible because he's not a bad person. No. But you know what? I hated another moment too. Also, again, treated so lightly. When he was um, going through his roles. Yeah. And then Reiro was there and Takumi was there and Takumi left because he's a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Reira went to the bathroom where he was, like, he locked the door. Mm -hmm. And he was like... Um, about to do a line of coke and she was like don't do it blah 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 like i can i can get through this with you blah 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 and then he literally says that he's going to her what is happening with this just story? just casually just why is it so casual this is so disturbing i'm gonna have to fucking blip it out so many times because you know what i can swear in this yeah but if i say the, the word I know. We're out of the algorithm. Bloop. <laughs> we, I would have to change the rating on my, on my, you know, yeah. um, podcast but, like, and everything. It's so present, and it's somehow it's not even like acknowledged that much. It isn't. Yeah, yeah. and it's so weird because, and like the way that the Rayra goes, like, like yeah, whatever. If it makes you feel better, and I was like, girl, yeah, she's yeah. I'm having a uh, an indigestion from you guys. <laughs> it's just bothering like everything yeah. about them just bothers me so much disturbing a lot of sadness yeah don't watch it if you can't watch sad content at the same time it's mm. like it's their doing yeah everything that happens is their doing so i can't really except i guess for ren's death i don't mm. know if that's his doing per se yeah because <laughs> we don't know we yeah. don't know if he decided to actually end it all or not and also we don't know what's in that gift that yeah. he left for nana because i think that's gonna explain a lot. Yeah, if she ever finishes writing it. <gasps> Which is interesting that she didn't go like all dramatic the way that they promised to die yeah. together, that she didn't just kill herself. Yeah, she that. just kept on going and they have like a little like... Because she left at the same time, she went to London. Yeah. Out of all places, yeah. she went to London where he really liked to be. Yeah. Why? It seems like he maybe left something for her that kind of tells her to go to London or do something in London or whatever. That's mm. why she disappeared yeah. and went there. Also, I really love long hair on Nana. Mm -mm. I know. It looks so good. So pretty. So pretty. Doesn't she have like long blonde hair at some point? Like, at, or like, uh, like when she was younger, she, I know she had longer black hair. No, I think that she had, so she had black hair that was really, really long yeah. for, um, um, 
disguise that they done yeah. once and then she definitely had long hair but i don't remember whether it was blonde or not when yeah. she was in london and they took pictures of her like the journalist yeah. found her. oh like doesn't she dresses up at some point with like that red dress when she's still home and like yeah oh, maybe maybe nothing to do with the hair but i don't think the yeah. hair changed yeah. but also um she's just so pretty no matter what yeah i think her mom has light Maybe. hair yeah. long light hair the same style yeah. as nana has in the flash yeah. forwards yeah any other characters we did not talk about that you want to talk about oh yeah you know what with yasu i felt like nana was like stop being thoughtful or, or reading my heart or whatever and he's like mm. stop crying in front of me then and i was like yeah <laughs> like what can you imagine if someone's crying in front of you what are you gonna do just sit there like i mean i'm very takumi would do that yeah. yes that's for sure but any other human being that has a heart would Especially if you're friends, especially if you're long-time friends. Yeah. You would be like, you would try to console them. And she's like, stop reading my heart, stop consoling me. And yeah. so like, then stop crying in front I'm, of me. I'm him. pretty awkward with people crying, but uh, I, I still try, you know. Everyone <laughs> still tries, at least even like, I know. <laughs> like There, there, Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, have hope. Like, <laughs> have hope. <laughs> Do you want some chocolate? <laughs> in front of the nose. Just have have tea, drink tea. <laughs> Just opening up my jaw and just like <laughs> pouring it in. You want milk? <laughs> you want milk? <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> like still, people will still try to do something. Did we talk about? Oh. I don't know where the color. My. Away. It's because it, you know she took Misato's Misato. name. Misato. Yeah. But she took Misato's name. Yeah. It's not her actual name. Yeah, my yeah. name is Mai. I kind of want to talk about her. Yeah. She's a funky one. Yeah. Because we definitely... never really know much about her until later. She's definitely stockish, yes. But we knew kind of, we knew that from the beginning that she's kind of like a too much of. She a doesn't fan. hide it either. She's she like doesn't, she no. right away says that she's obsessed and like her only reason to like be alive and like keep on going is the Nana. band. Yeah. Not even the band, Nana. Well, yeah, she's like in yeah. love with Nana. She yeah. literally says oh, she so. Says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's it's weird because. They're kind of connected. The, her grandfather was dating her grandmother. Yeah. Right? So then she got kind of obsessed with following her and whatever. But you know what I find interesting? There's this moment in the manga where she puts cutouts into yeah. her albums of Nana. And then it shows that it's like 15th or 19th album already. Mm -hmm. And then she puts it in a row and there's like a row of like 20 albums of just Nana and then below there's like 20 that are just a blast. Yeah, basically there's like a reporter talking about how this celebrity was killed Yeah, and that and that when they went to the perpetrators house They realized that they had a bunch of like cutouts and a bunch of like things yeah. like that for that person yeah. that They were like stalking them and yeah. they're obsessed with them and it's and then Misato was like mm, like switching it off <laughs> and it's like and I was like are they is that foreshadowing? Yeah. <laughs> is well, that, yeah. Am I supposed to be concerned? <laughs> is this gonna happen? Yes, it is. <laughs> but then she seems fine, like she seems fine afterwards. So I don't think it's supposed to happen. And like, yeah, she... But it did make me nervous. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it, yeah, it's creepy, <laughs> let's be honest. Like, it is. When you think about it. But yeah, once again, they make it like, you know go with the flow it's like they become friends she stays with them like you know she has a good relationship with everyone she becomes part of the the Gaia like the the producer oh yeah yeah I also think it's so so weird that um, Hachi was such a big fan of Takumi and then she yeah like right? the, the, a part of it is definitely like, that he's abusing she has, his power she has the poster right above the bed when they're you know just saying how just awkward that. that's like, so weird. like how awkward it's so weird. it's like her bedroom like you oh and the funny no. thing is that when she decides to like that she broke up with him she takes it off and everything yeah and it repaints the whole room with misato misato yes and then she's back into the trap like literally well, i guess i guess yeah i don't know <laughs> like that i think the that it just makes sense they're asking which song is the favorite the first one. The first like the, one. Um, yeah. The one that... I don't like the second one. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, I like the I one that perfect. that Nobu writes the first night where they, they're, she's singing yeah. in the apartment. On the table. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the best song. The yes. one and only. I don't know why they changed the theme 
because they made After like a new a few, song or whatever. Yeah, well, no. And it's they quite common. Not. I just don't. I just don't like that it was always this first part displayed, and mm. it's like really repetitive. That's why it gets really annoying. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm always sure, skipping. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure the rest of the song is not bad. Yeah. I just never listen to it yeah. <laughs> because the first part annoys me so much. Yeah. Just like yeah, 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 no. yeah, no. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It just gets on my nerves, so I was like, ah, I just don't want to listen to it. The whole thing with Hachi being like Shin's mom, <laughs> I'm always like, not her, yeah. boy. She's a child herself. Yeah, she is. She's like, like the moment she realizes she gets pregnant and she's with Misato, but she doesn't tell her. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm gonna go to the doctor, and Misato is like, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with you. And and Nana's like, all of a sudden she has like glasses on, and she's like, no. You're gonna finish your homework and like, you know, like, just trying, like, just the change of, I don't know, it just really bothered me at that Because it's not moment. earned. Yeah. It's not earned. You didn't no. do anything. You just got pregnant because you, you, were, you were And then once again, she's gonna try and like, you know, fit in. The way that you become... ended up in that situation through is through being irresponsible. Yeah, not It's mature. not through doing exactly. things that actually are yeah. responsible decisions. And like, you're hiding the truth from like your friends too because she won't tell anybody including nana which is supposed to be you know like her friend a and, stupid like, idea yeah. too a very stupid idea and then she discovers it from takumi and her like sitting down at a, at a table looking like a happy couple having breakfast like oh my God. i hate that scene so much it just bothers me god i i, I do too i just cannot with them constantly like oh yeah the whole thing with um uh People saying that like, oh, Takumi is like spoiling her or whatever. First of all, Junko was no, saying no. that. And I was like, Junko, yeah. you, the, he's it's raping not, her. Yeah. What the fuck do you mean he's, he's spoiling her? Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. He but, spent a few bucks on her and like all of a sudden he's spoiling her. He's buying her. Like it's basically like making her, f like, you know, manipulating by buying all these things. And then he gets her to do everything he wants. It's the same thing as what he's doing with uh, Reira and Affection. Yeah. And the same thing he's doing with Hachi. Because he knows our He gives in love just with enough him. affection that they get, get they still yeah. stay hooked. It's kind of the same tactic as people who are who run cults. Mm -hmm. They have the same tactic. Yeah. Like they abuse and abuse and abuse, yeah. but they give just enough affection that the person feels yeah. special. Yeah. And the, that's the, the thing that he was talking about with Reira, where he said, they were talking about Shin, I think, and he was like, um, you, do you know what the Stockholm syndrome is? Mm hmm. And like he tells this whole like quote about like how yeah. um, it's it's when the kidnapped develop develops feelings of love for the kidnapper yeah. and um, feels like they are their saviors because they are dependent on in everything on them. So whenever they do anything like give them food and stuff like that, they feel like they're being saved by that person instead of actually them being exactly. the root of all evil. Yeah. And the thing is, I'm sure that he is self-aware enough because he's smart enough to yeah. know that that's exactly what he's doing with everybody. He's yeah. doing that with Reira well, and he's telling and, and he's because she was in love with him since high school and he's done that since since childhood not in high school yeah yeah so that's like he's been aware of that and i think she was the first person he like discovered he had power over mm -hmm. and he could do the same thing with other people mm -hmm. like and and that's the thing that like so sad. he he knows that she would not leave him regardless of whatever yeah. she does or whatever he does yeah and that's why he even tells her to her face exactly what he's doing to yeah, her and yeah. to other people around him. Yeah. He tells her the entire metaphor. It's not veiled with anything yeah. at all. And he just goes, yeah, I can just say that to her. And she's not going to leave me or put yeah. two and two together yeah. because yeah. she still thinks that she's special. Yeah. And that's the thing that like... Sometimes I was like confused because I was like, does he actually love Ray or is it mm -hmm. why he, he, she's the only one he wouldn't sleep with yeah. and ruin the relationship with? But I have a feeling that it was just about the fact that he didn't want to mess with the voice and yeah. with, with his success as a band. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a moment where he's like, Do you, are you sure you just want to be one of my lovers or whatever? And she goes, yes, first, <sighs> Ray Ray, come on now. But <laughs> there's like a moment where he goes like, I, like, out of all people, you're like the most special one or something like that. And I kind of was like sitting there like, sure. Because mm -hmm. he said to Hachi that, yeah, number one is work. Number two is whatever the fuck. Yeah. I think he said like, I don't remember what he said, but like, 
maybe family maybe something i don't mm. know and then he was like and, and then after that it would be like you would be the number one yeah. even though there's a bunch of other numbers right behind it and whatever and that's the thing that both hachi and rara are kind of like his kidnap victims mm. both of them are isolated in those towers yeah. both of them are living like ghosts they don't exist outside of his stratosphere yeah. Yeah. Um, they don't exist outside of his little it's so sad i just like imagine nana like there's so much potential for like a, a girl power like manga like just nana with like a mix of akon akon or what's the the anime a a like the one that with only girls that doesn't acknowledge Much oh, Kaon. Kaon. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that I think that Kaon, the first season at least, yeah, was yeah. kind of like a little bit male gazy, and it was maybe made for those people who like enjoy yeah. that kind of stuff. But second season definitely wasn't. Yeah. Like, that would be sick. I think so. I also think that there was multiple moments where I even have like a screenshot. I think I sent it to you where Nana is like, "Men are useless." Or yeah, something yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then she also there's one moment where she goes like, "I can take care of your baby," mm-hmm. and. Nana's like, Hachi is like, yeah. is that a confession? It's like, dude, just take yeah. it seriously because you you yeah. could do it just you. They, they, yeah. You don't have to have those unreliable rapist men yeah. be, or like around yeah. you. You yeah. don't have to be unhappy. You could just be happy together. Yeah. Exactly. I don't mean that you need to change your orientation if no. you're not gay, you but you could still can be give like support for each other. Platonic partners. Yeah. And like you know, do whatever you want on the side. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much potential, and mm. just Takumi ruins it all. <laughs> it just like we spoke so much about him, and like somehow we just hate him so much. Just everything about him, like how many, however many times he's shown in the more human light, I'm still like, I just, I cannot see a person who uh, violates someone's personhood so much, yeah. and not just and one so person, many, yeah. every, everybody. He doesn't give a flying like yes he solves a lot of problems for people and he mm-hmm. does think a lot of whatever and it sometimes comes off as if he's like a caretaker but in reality he's just the master manipulator who's obsessed with having control over everything yeah. that's why he's doing those things and that's why sometimes he takes care of things and why sometimes he shows well, kindness he tells, to people he tells everyone fake kindness. what to do yeah like, and it's fake include, kindness because yeah. he knows that he can get them to yeah. do what he wants them to do and he i shows think it. He's good at like noticing people's weaknesses, mm. cause even Nana when she's like, oh yeah, like they, he's like, yeah, we, are you gonna have to find another roommate or like I, I'll pay for the rent, mm. and she's like, oh no, I was gonna move in with Ren anyways, and then he's like, well, don't you like think about it, like if you move in with him, like which is exactly like he touches, you know, her soft spot, she's gonna move in with him, and then before they get famous, we blast, and then. Like it's gonna ruin his image because you know, mm-hmm. like he's popular with women. So if they discover he has a girlfriend, then you know, like the whole mm-hmm. thing, and that's exactly like her soft spot, and then ruins it all. Mm-hmm. And after that, she just like blacks out, and she doesn't remember anything after mm-hmm. until she wakes up. Like just with everyone, he just pinpoints their weaknesses and just gonna destroy them. I think that sometimes like it's it comes off as like being a caretaker or something, but in reality, he's smart. Yeah. I can I, I give him yeah. I give him that he's not a stupid he's a guy. Sociopath. He's he's a Psychopath. sociopath though. <laughs> yeah, like he's definitely one of those people that he uses the fact that people are in awe of how he can solve problems yeah. and solve problems for them that they give him a lot of power yeah. in their lives yeah. in general. Yeah, is that everything? I think so. I mean, there's probably a lot more we could say about it, but. It's, it's we could do like we could do a part two at some point. If anyone's if, ever interested, of, yeah. Yeah, if if there's gonna be a lot or of more questions, questions in the in the in the comment section, that's like really interesting that we did not touch yeah. or we did not expand upon. Oh, if you we'll want to change your mind, happy to discuss it. Yeah, fair Never enough. Never set on opinions. Yeah. Um, we might be wrong on some things. Which But is yeah, fine. give give us your yeah, opinions. Opinion. Opinion. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to hear them. Yeah, that was fun. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I'm not too awkward. I don't no, know I think you. I, I think it was fine. <laughs> we weren't really looking at the camera anyway. Yeah. We were looking at each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening or watching, whatever, whichever way you're doing it. I know. Um, and I will see you next time. And maybe me one day. Yes. Bye. Bye.